full apartment tour. Good day, lovely people. Today I'm gonna do a full apartment tour for you guys because I'm almost leaving this apartment. So I figured out, let me show you how we ended up living in here because I did do a full empty apartment tour. So I'm gonna show you each and every room basically. We're gonna head down to the hallway and we're gonna start Yeah. So here we have a little mirror situation so you can still see me, but this is where you enter our apartment. And then we have our shoes here, our coats over here and a little mirror to see what I look like before I leave the house, which is always essential to me in case you look a little crazy. So you know what's good. And my roommate is already starting to pack and leave the apartment. So her suitcase is ready, ready to leave me, ready to leave my ass. So then we have a very long hallway and people were always like, you're so dramatic. The hallway is not that long until they actually arrive at our house and are like, oh, that's actually quite a whole road down to the living room. Let me flip the camera so you can see me. My roommate is also at home packing, as I said, leaving. But first, let me show you the toilet. Mind you, for those that don't know that we live in the Netherlands. So this is a very typical Dutch toilet situation is separated from the bathroom and we have our little cute toilet paper roll thing over there you know women stuff toilet paper the usual the goods here we have our energy stuff that i'm not going to show you guys because it's boring but then one of the most precious rooms that we're entering is the office <laughs> and it looked a lot cuter this morning, but she decided to, you know, move her stuff today. So that's why I'm um, fly. Hey. Oh my god, she took her wall off already. The iMac is also gone. The, <gasps> the computer is also gone. <laughs> nah, okay. So this is like a full apartment tour for my side, and her side is like basically trashed already. Goodbye. She said goodbye. No one's gonna see what I did here. Well, basically, we both had our own wall and she had her posters and I have my posters, as you can see. It's very K-pop dedicated. E dedicated. Dedicated. <laughs> dedicated. Oh, that's what she had on her wall. Her honeys that she took down early. They didn't, you know, get the respect anymore that they deserve. <laughs> Real. They're coming home with me. So this is all K-pop related, which is basically not really what I'm into anymore. But you know, my mans, my mans, my mans can still stay. And then we're going to see my lovely side of the office. So here we spend most of our time because we both have to work. This is my lovely Hinomi chair that I adore. Sponsored! <laughs> Hashtag sponsored! This is my lovely desk and I'm bringing this home with me. I'm also bringing this big ass closet with me because it's all brand new. We only lived here for two years. And now you can see me again. But this is basically my office closet. So I did a lot of decor because I didn't really need the space. But then on this side, I have my essential stuff. In here is where I keep all my bedding sheets and my extra towels that I have, more of my bedding sheets. Here I have my bikinis, my workout clothing that I haven't touched in a year. And here I have some stock of my precious skincare and some other good stuff that I use for when I'm traveling. So this side is always hidden behind the door because the door opens this way, which is why here I have like more of the essential stuff. And then on this side, it's like more of the decorations. So let me show you what the rest of my closet looks like. This is a mess. It just happens Ew. to be like that. Like it just happens to get like so that. Messy. When you start moving out, you start not caring, but we still Literally. have the bags here. There's this thing, I don't know. I just had it, so I just installed it, but not really useful. My jewelry, my nail stuff, some boxes with shoes and bags. And uh, the box on top is for my vanity mirror that I have to bring with me, of course. So I just kept it there. Then I have my whole collection of treasure and icon and Hanbin albums, which are precious. My Rosie album, more of my other albums. This is the cutest part, obviously, from my side of the office because that's the setup, as you can see. And then here I have my sticker cutter that I still have not been using. My printer, that's essential. And in these drawers, we just have a lot of 
stuff. So this is for my art shop. If I ever start it, I use this drawer for all my electronics. So my cameras, like literally all my cameras. And then the bottom one is most of times just for like, you know, stuff that you don't know where to put. And on this side is basically my whole jewelry shop that I started at one point and also already stopped again. So I have a lot of stock on that and I'm not sure what to do with it yet. This is also packaging that I want to use for my art shop if I'm ever going to start that one. More packaging, freebies. Oh, oh, oh my god. It was stuck for a second there. And more of the stuff that I needed to, you know, do all the art shop stuff. So that's basically my side of the office. And on my desk, it's also kind of cute. I tried to make this cute, but then again, you know, I, I switch up a lot. I switch up a lot on what I like. So now we have this little wooden stuff that's very art shoppy, sticker shoppy, cute. But I, I really don't know what I'm doing with this desk, basically. So this room is basically the master bedroom originally in this apartment because this is the biggest room in our house. But since we both wanted the office space, we decided that we're gonna make the biggest room our office and that has worked out really well for us. Just a very cute space for us to do everything that we needed to do. So then we're gonna walk down the hallway a little further and we have this door right here. And this is a little storage room that we have in our house and as you can see here, we keep some essentials, like everything that we need to do, laundry, and just other stuff that we really couldn't place anywhere, like our vacuum, our toilet paper, and then on this side, if we turn, is our washing machine, and that one has been used well. And that's basically this little room, but it's really nice to have this little room, because otherwise, where are you gonna put it? Do you have to like dedicate another room to this? No. So. I'm not sure if this is typically Dutch or if other countries also have this. But let me just say this apartment is in general typically Dutch. You would recognize the layout and everything if you're if you're here. So then this is just a little sneak peek from outside of the door. But this is my roomie's room. She got the more squared room as I got the more lengthy room. Oh, <laughs> lengthy room. And then I'm going to show you guys my room now because that's, of course, the most fun part. I've upgraded this part a month ago or a few weeks ago with my vanity mirror. And this is all girly, all cute. This is where I sit to do all my videos now. I have a drawer here, which is obviously for essentials like underwear, socks. Then this one used to be for my own, um, how do you call it? For my... PJs and stuff, my lounge loungewear, but I dedicated this space for my boyfriend. So I lost a drawer and then below here are shoes in like all kinds of ways. And I tried to decorate this with these ribbons, which was very cute. And on the wall, I also have like these posters that I got from Pinterest and more ribbon. And that's basically how I tried to make it a little girly. Then I have my beautiful spring box bed, which has been doing me well. And as I said, we both sleep in the smaller rooms. So as you can see, my bed literally goes from wall to wall almost. You can walk behind here, but I never do it. I just jump over my bed if I need to get to the other side. Then this is the view that I got from my bedroom. I rarely open my curtains actually because people tend to look in when we open them. So people will walk by or bite by and they will literally just straight as stare into our apartment. So I don't really like that. So I most of the times have this closed, but I can appreciate the view, especially if it's sunny like this. So you just see the roads, the cars, everyone living their best life basically. Then we move around to this side. This is my little chair that I sit on. And also because I have these all the way up there, I need this to get up there because otherwise, you know, I can't reach. And this is basically all the clothing that I have here. And originally when I moved in here, I decided to do these wall racks. But then I noticed that they don't hold up as well as I thought they would, especially not with the amount of clothes that I have. So one of them actually fell down, which was supposed to be behind here. It fell down, so I replaced it with just a rack that stands like on the floor. But that's also because this wall is actually more of a fake wall, whereas this wall is like the hard, the hard kind of, you know, cement wall or whatever we call it. 
So yeah, would I do this again in my next apartment? Probably not because I also don't like how messy it looks. Like if you had a walk-in closet, it doesn't matter because you're obviously not going to shoot any content in here. But if I just had taken a closet, like a closed closet here, I could have probably taken a lot more content with this as the background and have it not look as messy. But I did like this just for like convenience. So you can just see everything quickly and I don't know. It has its own vibe, but I wouldn't probably do it again unless you have an actual walk-in closet. So that's all on my room. Then we're going to move on to this side. So as I said, the hallway is quite long because you go all the way from that door all the way to this point. But then you're literally still not in the living room. You still have to go all the way there. And first, you will reach the bathroom. And you probably guys have seen it a few times already. But this is our lovely bathroom. Our um, landlord actually replaced the sink with like this big one and he replaced his mirror with this. And I think I've already showed that in the empty apartment tour, but this is basically what it ended up looking like. We originally wanted to have a closet down here, like actual with like drawers and stuff. But then you would have like a custom one that actually fits below it. So instead we decided to both just take a little cart. And that's actually enough for the both of us. And then below that we could just have our laundry baskets. And I think this is ideal if you don't want the whole closet space. And I also don't think that it really bothers. It doesn't look extremely messy or anything. We both keep it like neat. So that's kind of cute. This is actually my side. So let me show you a little bit more. I have the laundry basket. Then on top, I just have the toothbrushes, obviously. And then my little cart I've upgraded recently with this little skincare thing that you can rotate, which looks super cute. And I also got this for my um, cotton pads and my... Um, yeah, the other thing. And then below here, I have my hair stuff and some other essentials that I need in the bathroom. And then below there, I do um, towels. So you always need your towels in the bathroom. So I just store them there. And then on the side, I have two of the small ones. Here we decided to go for six of these sticky things from Ikea. And would I recommend them? Yes, if you don't want to like make holes in your wall, which is kind of like... You know, you don't want to really do that in your bathroom. But no, because they also don't stick as well. They stay on for a few months and then they keep falling off. But I also just put them back on. And every time I put them back on, they will stay again for a few months. So if you don't mind doing that every once in a while, then you're good. Here we're also using the same system. And we both got our own one for our... Um, shampoo and stuff. And then you just have a very typical modern shower where you just have this glass wall, your shower thing. And then this side is basically just open. And I think this is like very, very typical nowadays to have. So that is the bathroom moving on. Then we have reached our lovely, lovely living room, which I find so cozy. I spent a lot of time here on the couch eating because I eat so slow. But I recently also moved this around, so I think it looks super cozy right now. Lovely lounge chair, lovely couch, and a big TV. Then in this corner, it's kind of empty. This corner changed a lot throughout the two years. We kept having a little different setup here, but for now we do, or I do, my laundry. I hang my laundry here. And then on this side, we've had this beautiful closet. Initially, when we moved in, we were like, oh, we want this big closet so that we can portray it. And I think we had it like empty for the first few months. Then we slowly started to build up. But I think we never fully furnished it or like we never fully filled it. But I think that's fine. I think it looks it looks cute. It has always looked cute just in the backdrop like this. Then over here, I moved my big mirror because I wanted to take cute content on this side, which I haven't really gotten to it. But this is where the mirror stands right now. And here you have our little parasol, which is for our lovely balcony, which is not open right now. And also there's a lot of bird seeds that fell from our neighbor's balcony onto our balcony because that balcony is right up there and I don't know what happened during the storm, but they had bird stuff food on their balcony, which dropped straight onto our balcony. So that's the thing with apartments. You kind of like, you know, there's things happening around you from your neighbors. And other than that, I love this balcony in the summer. I used to always chill on this lounge set that we have. And also the view 
is nice because we don't have an apartment building on this side against us. So you're basically just have an open lookout ish, if you get what I mean. So that is nice. Then we also have our dining table. This is the lovely dining table that I really, really wanted. And then also bringing this back with me. The chairs are not cute though, because we bought them before we got the dining table. So we didn't know what we were going to end up with. But I love this table, even though I don't sit here a lot because I prefer sitting at the couch when I eat. Then over here, we have our kitchen, which is also a very typical layout for a Dutch apartment kitchen area thing um, this thing is basically equipped with everything that we needed it had enough storage space it has a dishwasher which is essential and it also came with this top drawer that already had this in it so we didn't have to buy this just everything that's in there is obviously ours but that's so lovely by with renting this apartment that it was equipped with everything like the floor was already there the walls were already did so we didn't have to do all that we just had to buy our stuff to use so this is basically how we lived we had a lot of these or we have we had a lot of this to eat and the bottom drawer we use for our pans and what not. Over here we have our fridge, which has a very tiny freezer, which is very unfortunate because you're kind of like limited with how much you can put in there. But other than that, the fridge was fine. They also had like a combi oven and microwave, which was fine as well. It's a little small, but it did what it had to do. Then you have more space up here where we just kept some stuff that we don't reach for that often. And this is where we basically cook. This is my rice cooker. There where we wash our pans, our dishes, whatnot. This is also very nice where we keep stuff that we don't reach for as often. But then here we have our glasses, cups, and all that. And they also got this installed. It's a little light below here, which is perfect because then you have a little bit more light when you do your dishes and cooking. So I use this very, very often. On this side, you have four of these cabinets and we both chose to have two of our own. So I have the left side. On this side, I just keep stuff that are like snacks and on here i keep stuff that's more of like for cooking this is basically all the space that i needed and then my roommate has these two sides and we also have the garbage can of course and this is my little rice bin so that's basically the full apartment tour and besides everything that i showed you guys we also have a private parking spot and that's on this side of the balcony below there's like a lot of parking for every neighbor and we also all have an own storage room which is also not in the apartment itself it's on the ground floor everyone has their own storage room and it fits all your boxes your suitcases it fits two of our bikes so it's kind of spacious it's like a shed but then not outside if you get what i mean so overall this apartment has a lot of storage room and it's quite big i think it's 100 square meters in total and that's a lot for two girls living on their own and it's very generous in space so we love that and it's also crazy to think that we're now already reaching the two years that we have for this apartment it went by so 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 fast and I don't know, I love having the experience to live in this apartment and I also pretty sure that my next apartment is not going to be as big as this one, but oh well, oh well. So yeah, thank you for watching, see you in my next video, bye!